Hi, this is Jonesy with Jetters Northwest, and today's Get Jetting subject is nozzle extensions and centralizers. In service jetting, we all clean a lot of 4-inch pipe, and in a 4-inch pipe, the nozzle tends to center itself. But when we get into doing larger lines, we have a safety risk, and that is that our flexible hose, when the nozzle hits something, it has the potential to actually turn around and boom, jet right back toward us. So the way we can avoid that is with an extension. We're simply adding length to the hose so that it can't turn around. Okay, I've done this even like 36 inch lines. You know, I take two, three of these and I stack them up and they're just basically schedule 80 pipe. This is a half inch, um, nothing special. You can have these made locally. You can keep a bunch of lengths in your, in your vehicle and just thread them in between the jetting hose and the nozzle as a safety, an anti-turnaround safety. Also, if you're doing, say, manhole to manhole sanitary sewer and you don't want the nozzle to wander into a lateral, the nozzle extension will help prevent that as well. Okay, another benefit of a long extension is in a large diameter pipe, it helps keep the nozzle at the bottom of the pipe. So often, of course, in larger lines, and especially like culverts, the debris you're trying to clear is down at the bottom. So this adds some stability and some weight to keep that nozzle centered and down at the bottom as you're pulling that debris back. Now some of you might say, hey, my favorite nozzle has a built-in hose. What do I do about that? Well, you could simply uh, just take a piece of like one inch PVC pipe and just cut it to length and then just slide it over and tape it down the ends and then it becomes stiff. So it won't turn around on you. Okay, the fancier type of nozzle extension we call a centralizer or a centralizer skid. So what does this do? Well, using this six inch pipe as an example, a lot of root intrusion, of course, comes in from the top of the pipe. And if, um, if you want to get that nozzle more centered, like this is a rotating head root cutter nozzle, it's bringing that into the middle of the pipe so the water jets are going to hit the top of the pipe harder. And of course, if you do reline prep, you're doing relining and you want to really scour the entire inside of a pipe and you have a good access to get in. Um, these centralizer skids are really nice because again, it's centering that nozzle for a more 360 degree cleaning. Uh, another nice thing about the skid, the centralizer, it slides along real nicely. These rails shorten the contact point on the pipe so it moves real nicely within uh, the pipe. And that's nice also for going like manhole to manhole. Um, you know, between catch basins, longer runs, cutting down the friction of the drag so the nozzle can pull the hose all the way up the line. And you can choose from several sizes of these centralizers. This particular one's an eight inch, you saw the six inch, and they can go even bigger than that. Um, and not only to centralize within the pipe, but you can also just use these to get your nozzle up out of the flow line, out of the muck and the mire, so that the water jets aren't fighting water, right? And of course, swinging around to nozzle extensions, you can of course put an extension right into your centralizer to make it long or help keep it straight as we talked about before. So I just want to take a little time to cover these tools, centralizer skids, nozzle extensions. We include one of these with every one of our brute jetters and our Eagle trailer jetters, but I know a lot of guys just never use them because they really just don't know what they are and what they're for. So appreciate you taking the time to listen. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe so we can keep these uh, videos coming to you. Get out there, get jetting.